Rarely does a single book so thoroughly engage the College of Charleston community as this one has. If you are a student from a local elementary, middle, or high school and have read the Young Adult or Picture Book, please stand and remain standing. If you are a member of the Charleston community and have read the book, please stand and remain standing. Please join me in giving a warm College of Charleston welcome to Greg Morris. Today, 50% of college graduates say, I want to go out and make the world a better place. If you go down into the high schools, the junior highs, and elementary schools, it's even much harder than that. Community service is not just teaching children and young people about volunteerism or philanthropy, but also teaches them to think of themselves as a collective community. I first was introduced to a child slave in Pakistan in 2005. We're driving down the road and our radio blew up, so I pulled into a local gas station and I asked him to get a mechanic. This very young boy, about 11 years old, his name is Abdul, he came with his soaking wet, dripping with oil and uh, grease, and he very quickly, in two hours, he fixed our radiator and asked Abdul, how come you're not in school? And Abdul said, I'm an orphan. I was bought and sold into slavery. And I do my work, I don't get any pay, I get, I get free food, and I get to sleep under a truck at night, unmolested. So I told Abdul in a month, we'll be back, I really want to help you. We came back a month later, and Abdul had disappeared. So our staff had spent two days looking for Abdul, we couldn't find him. And every time we go through Polk Armory, we, we try to find Abdul, but he's lost and disappeared. So I have this picture on my desk to remind me that no child on this planet should be a slave, and I think that every single child on this planet should have their right to go to school. One of my great concerns is there's too many people on this planet, especially if you look in three to five generations. And the number one way to reduce population without doing anything else, nothing controversial, nothing political, is female literacy. So the, the students and I, we, we demonstrate this, so I'd like to have, um, we need about 15 volunteer students to come up here. We're going to give you a little demonstration here. She's illiterate, she lives in Bangladesh 40 years ago. The average woman in Bangladesh, less than 20% literacy. The average woman 10, 40 years ago had 9 or 10 libraries. So this is your family here. Come on, scoot up here. Let's see. And then we're going to go forward to modern day Bangladesh. Let's see if I can make a little stuff here. Um, this is your family. You today, uh, this is 2010. The literacy rate in Bangladesh went from 20% to more than 65%. They put 8% of GDP in education, which is a very high investment. The average woman today in Bangladesh is literate and has 2.5 lepers, meaning about two or three kids per family. The other thing is, 